of the forces acting on a propeller, the most significant force is the centrifugal force. So the centrifugal force occurs when the propeller blades uh, rotate. And the magnitude of the force can be derived from this equation, m omega squared r, where m is the mass of the propeller blade. Omega is the rotational velocity in radians per second. And r is the radius of the propeller blade. Now this can be uh, quite a significant force, primarily because of this component of the force here, omega squared. And to illustrate the point, we're going to look at a particular type of propeller. So we're going to look at the five-bladed uh, Hartzell HCB5MA prop, and that's uh, fitted to the Super Tucano, uh, an aircraft that's used as a trainer for a number of air forces uh, around the world. So uh, the heart cell data sheet on that propeller, that tells us that it's fitted to Super, super Tucano, that the blade rotates at a speed of uh, 2000 RPM, and that has a prop diameter of 94 inches. Okay, so uh, 2000 RPM uh, equates to a rotational speed of 209 radians per second. So 2000 revs per minute to bring that to second, uh, seconds, divide by 60. Uh, that's the number of revolutions per second. And then to work out the number of radians, it's just multiplied by 2 pi. So we have 209 radians per second. Uh, the diameter uh, equates to about 2.38 meters. Um, so half of that would be roughly 1.2. And I'm guesstimating that the center of gravity is here, maybe one third of the of the length of the blade. So I'm I'm guesstimating here that the CAG is at uh, 0.4 meters um, from this from the hub center. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to look at is the propeller uh, type certificate data sheet. So uh, I looked at the uh, the data sheet, and it says that we have an RPM of 2,000. We have that, and what I'm interested here in is the is the mass. So the complete propeller has a mass of uh, 100 kilograms. So there's five blades and a hub, and I'm assumed that the hub is twice the mass of a blade. So that's a ratio of seven is uh, seven to one. So I'm gonna divide this 100 by seven and I get a mass of 14 kilograms. And I think that'd be ball ballpark figure. You know, it might be a little bit less, probably 10, but 14 kilograms, uh, I think it's a good ballpark uh, figure. So I'm gonna plug that mass with the uh, data I already had, the radians per second and the radius, into this equation. So the mass was 14, the radians per second was 209 uh, radians per second, and the radius 0.4, and that comes out at 244 kilonewtons. So each blade has a force of 244 kilonewtons, which is a, a substantial force. Just to get a um, a handle on how how large a force that is, or some perspective maybe of that force. So here is my five-bladed propeller. Each of these has a centrifugal force of 244 kilonewtons. But uh, I looked up on uh, Wikipedia what the thrust of a A320 Neo engine was. So for the leap, uh, one eighth <coughs> engine. If I had two of them, so if I had two engines, they would produce approximately 224 kilonewtons of thrust. So the centrifugal force on the propeller blade is the equivalent, in this case, of two leap engines pulling on each of the blades, which is, I think, a significant force. 
if I reduce the mass, if it wasn't 14, if it was even half of that, if it was 7 uh, kilograms, then we're talking about one leap engine, or the equivalent of one leap engine, um, pulling on each one of those blades to replicate the centrifugal force. Okay, so that's centrifugal force and um, how significant it is on the power blades.